everybody. Welcome to Steps and Stages. I'm Coach Crystal. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Steps and Stages community. And if you're one of my steppers, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about battles, right? I want to just start by saying, do not waste your energy by engaging in a battle that is not waged for you or by you. Now, sometimes that's hard to um, discern. Sometimes battles around us feel like they're encompassing who we are or that they have a direct effect on our environment, our circumstance, our situation, our livelihood. And sometimes we feel compelled to participate. Now, there are different ways to participate in a battle. There's a strategist, there's a sergeant, there's a foot soldier, there's snipers. There's, there's all kinds of things that go into winning a war. But as someone who grew up with a father who lost both his legs in Vietnam, I am oftentimes attuned to what we battle and why we battle. So sometimes I just want to be clear that we may be around people who are not soldiers, but they like to fight. And so we have to be very clear what we're giving our energy to and who is fighting on our side or on our behalf. I just want to be clear with you because I think many of us sometimes spend our energy fighting battles that are not ours, that are not waged for our greater good, and that actually have no service for bringing us to the evolution of the person we're supposed to be. But we can waste a lot of time getting stuck in battles. We can waste time battling people who are close to us, who don't have the same um, intellectual uh, point of view as us. We can battle people who have different colors of skin, people who have different religious beliefs. We can fight these battles, but really the battle inside ourselves is what we want to wage and what we want to show up for every day, right? In this way that we are trained to compete for right or wrong, we're oftentimes missing the reality of the circumstances, situations, conditions, and opportunities that are in front of us for us to grow into our freer, fuller, authentic selves. This is not to say that we shouldn't spend our energy in the efforts of justice, but it is to say if we can't find justice in ourselves, we can't fight for it on the outside. This is to say that if your vision has not been attuned and clear to who you would like to be, what you would like to become in the world, what you would like to see in your own life, then sometimes latching on to other people's dreams feels easier, feels more comfortable. It feels like we can fight for others, but we're not always accustomed to fighting for ourselves and our own vision. So today, this week, this month, I want you to tune in to what your battle is from the inside. Make sure you're being an amazing strategist for your own victory, not just in this small battles, but in the big war. And that when you decide to give your energy to another soldier who is on the battlefield for righteousness, justice, authenticity, truth, that you are equally aligned and that you know that the battle will not be in vain. Listen, if you missed Vision Camp, you can catch the replay at ssvisioncamp.com. Stay in the fight and I'll see you soon.